What up, everybody? This is your boy Theo Pence here. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss any Run Your Race content. So, damn, Vendo. We might, we might need just say an extra prayer for you mid-season. You said, right. <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> the mid-season right, trade, mid I'm like, damn, hey, about to, we about to just call it uh, we Vendo season. Finger scrums, man. <laughs> hey, shit. At this point, you could peep the energy yes, mid-season. You like, all right, man. Nah. Okay. Hey, listen. You can see what's going on now. Nah, hey, you go to Vendo crib. His yeah, shit's still in the suitcase. Man, what? I got to go back. I still back. got stuff in storage from Denver. I got to go I'm back like, just man, in case, Vendo, you signed a three-year deal. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, man, nah. what? Mm -mm. <laughs> I got stores I still ain't touched from Denver, Minnesota. It's like they moving stores to stores. I'm like, God damn. Yeah, it's one that is at least a little bit. Yeah, right. shit. Yeah. Let me get settled in. Man, that's part of it, man. For, for sure. sure. Hey, listen, you that's getting paid. Hey, you have living a great life. <laughs> exactly. Like but complain. you go from Denver, cold as hell. Minnesota, cold as hell. Uh, Utah, Utah cold. cold as hell. But then you go to La La Land. Man. Cali. Ooh With that man, man. King James. First one. Oh, said. the switch is flipped. Man. You go from women yama to we gotta win. Exactly. And the thing is, it's not even really we gotta win. Y'all trying to get exactly. We back. to catch up. Y'all don't catch trying up. To boost them up. Yeah. So talk about going to the Lakers. I mean, mm -hmm. we we had Danny on here recently, and he just talked about the the fan base of Laker Nation is, mm. is, is different. So y'all get there and y'all start winning. Talk about that feeling that y'all that No, it's crazy. Have. I mean, they fan base is, is like no other fan base. Like mm. even everywhere you go, it's just like a it's a movie. Movie. Yeah, yeah like it really is though. There ain't mm. no other way to put it. But uh obviously the lights are brighter. You on TV every game. Like I think Utah, we only have like maybe a couple TV games to yeah. damn now you playing every night mm -hmm. on the biggest stage. So I would say, you know, it, it was just night and day coming from Utah. Yeah. And the approach was different just cause like now we competing. Like we, I went from like, like we wasn't really trying to win at that point a little mm. bit, but like, you know, yeah. they wasn't pushing for winning. Now it's um, to almost like a championship or bust. Yeah. So like yep. the whole approach just changed. And yeah. we ain't had no time to waste when we got traded. We was yeah. already in the hole. Exactly. So we got straight to it. So that whole, this, that whole approach was just a lot different, but. Yeah, nah, playing for the Lakers is definitely like no other fan base for sure. I feel like that's a learning experience too, because mm -hmm. it's like, like the Lakers got a certain expectation. For sure. When you get traded there, you know it's an expectation. It's from day one. From day one. Like, fall in line. You got or, to fall in line. Or Sakurnara. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you out of here. No, but it's you. crazy though, bro. Like y'all start hooping. Mm -hmm. Like y'all yeah. really start hooping. What what was it that changed that whole mindset of the team i you let me know if i'm wrong y'all played us dallas yeah in dallas yeah we whooping y'all ass yeah <laughs> you come in and you change that whole game yeah and y'all win mm -hmm. i feel like y'all took off after that yeah it, it definitely was that that game was definitely the turning point of like yeah of like where we was at because i i think y'all might have been a little a couple games ahead of us but we knew we had to see y'all a couple times so like yeah and at that point we had went on playing West Coast teams that was right in front of us. So we knew we had to, we was in must win mode for the rest of the yeah. season at that point. Mm -hmm. So that game really kind of solidified us and 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 changed the hump, or got us over the hump, mm -hmm. even though Brian ended up getting hurt yeah, in that hurt game. That game. Yeah, yeah. It kind of, you know, mm -hmm. set us back a little bit. But, yeah. uh, but at that point, everything was clicking. Like to be down 20, we fresh, a fresh newly team, but for us to come together and, and, and yeah. Come yeah. back for 20 points mm -hmm. on a team like that. Like, we was like, okay, at that point, like, shit, we knew we was, you know, we was some serious at that point. Mm -hmm. But talk about playing with Braun and AD. Mm -hmm. Like, how's that? Man, it's dope. Just being able to just, you know, be around them and learn from them and watch how they approach the game and practice and everything. Like, and they just so efficient at what they do, mm -hmm. you know, on and off the court. So, uh, you know, having guys, they just made the game so much easier for you just because yeah. they they just such high IQ, high level players that it made our jobs easier. Mm -hmm. You know, guys like me, Bees, everybody that came in, D Lo, mm -hmm. Rui, like we were like to play alongside them guys, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's really what we took off because we damn near complimented what they needed at that time. Yeah. Yeah. So 
you know, playing with them, um, they was shit, pretty much just leading the way. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's huge when, like, especially coming in mid-season for a team or the top players to, like, just kind of, like, accept you and, you know, teach you. Yeah. And, you know, they was there along with us through the way. And they made our transition just so much smooth. Easier, yeah. And we just started clicking. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the team just started clicking. Like, on and off the court, I think we was connected at that time, even though it was a short period of time. And that's really why we, you know, we took off. What up, everybody? It's your boy Theo Pinson here, and we have a huge announcement. We have officially partnered with Prize Picks, the daily fantasy sports game, the best one out there. Head over and go download the Prize Picks app. You pick between two to six players, and this is a skill based fantasy game. You only play against the Prize Picks projections. It's simple. You pick for more or less. Prize Picks is matching up to $100 of your first deposit using our promo code RACE. Go to prizepicks.com slash race and use code RACE for a first deposit match up to $100.